<laughs> oh, a dollar. Mm, what made you come around, Lois? You coming back to bed, Rob? Oh, hang on, honey, hang on. My jaw keeps locking up. Ah, oh, well, that's uh, not Nova at all, is it? <laughs> that's a sex tape I made with my wife. Of course, nobody here is interested in seeing that sort of thing. Are they? Probably not, no. Okay, oh, you kind of look like you were nodding. Nope, okay. Okay, we should get back to work. In the spring becomes the rose. Okay, that was good. That was good. Chris, I think you were a little early at the start of bar four. Um, I don't know. How'd that sound from your end? Sounded great out here. You want another? No, if that works for you, we're fine. All good on my end. All right, that's a take. I felt like I had a void in my life, like, like there was a secret hole in me. Oh, God! And I was trying to fill that hole with all kinds of expensive objects and things. Oh, God! And I felt wonderful with all those things filling that hole. Oh, God! I did this to myself, so I'm just gonna have to lay back and let the penal system teach me a lesson. That one is also sexual. She's my only daughter, and I feel like I've never treated her as well as I should have. Hey, Meg, you got something on your shirt? <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hey, Meg, watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gone. Whoa, I wonder what happened to it. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. Now open your books to page... You know what, look, I'm sorry, can I just go ahead and show this video of me doing my wife? Cause I've been a worse father than Abraham. You wanna tell me what the fuck that was? To the Hinden, Peter! Oh my god! Joe, I am so sorry. How can you afford these things? Slow down! I want to get there, but I want to get there alive! Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <coughs> Meg, come back here! I meant sex! We now return to Carl Sagan's Cosmos, edited for rednecks. I'm Carl Sagan. Just how old is our planet? Scientists believe it's four bi Hundreds and hundreds of years old. Scientists have determined that the universe was created by a... God! Big Bang. If you look at the bones of a... Jesus! Nosaurus Rex, it's clear by the use of carbon dating that... Mountain Dew is the best soda ever made. Oh, you must be our new dorm mate. I'm Roger's Chapstick, heir to the Chapstick fortune, and this is Virgil Mastercard, heir to the Mastercard fortune. Oh, yes, yes, how do you do I don't know, Peter. Lips are one thing, but did you have to buy breast implants for Chris? Yeah, it makes him happy. Hey, these are cool. Ha! You're mine now, fella. One time, I picked my nose, and I swear I could feel the bottom of my eye. Shut up, poor kid. No, I'm serious. Look. Oh, boy, a fudgesicle. <laughs> Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on. I gave you one of the ones with silverware in it. Take this one instead. That one's probably fine. What, I'm supposed to pay two bucks for stickers because this guy can't hear? Come on. Hey, I might be deaf, but I have feelings. Oh, uh, I, I mean... What? Connie D'Amico's house is two stories. Now, if we set up booby traps here, here... How'd and... you get these blueprints? Oh, your mother has her ways. She has her ways. Can I have the blueprints of the D'Amico house? Sure, here you go. Doctor, is my brother really insane? Mrs. Griffin, we don't use the word insane. We prefer the term mentally hilarious. So what have you done with your life, you jerk? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm Neptune, god of the sea. I sink ships and conjure up storms. No, you're not. I am. And you know nothing of my work. He has pictures.
pictures of himself strangling fat guys. That doesn't mean he's the fat guy strangler. Oh, yeah? What about the dead fat guy under his bed? Coincidence? What about the half-dead fat guy in the corner? Patrick tried to kill me. Well, maybe it's a different Patrick. Lois! Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Peter's out there with him. Wait! You gonna eat that dead fat guy? You ever stop and think, wow, I'm married to that guy? Nah, I just repress it. Is that healthy? Ah, what's the worst that could happen? I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. Okay, Patches, now fetch. Ah! Oh, oh my god, oh my god, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Ew, it's got spit all over it. Hi there. How you doing? What's that, Daddy? Well, that's Mercury, Jake, the planet closest to the sun. What it's doing down here by the wharf, I haven't the foggiest, but we should probably ask a scientist. I'm a guy, you jackass! Look at this, Lois. See, right here. I was voted most likely to succeed. Peter, that's not you. That's not even a yearbook. That's a People magazine. Oh. I wonder why they had the wrong picture and name. Peter? Ooh, a piece of candy. 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 Man, I hope that's James Woods, because if it's me under there again, I'm going to be really pissed off. Please say hello to young Ray Charles. I'm blind! I saw an ad for a used car that would be perfect. Oh, no, Lois. No, a guy at work bought a car out of the paper. Ten years later, bam, herpes. As you know, we of the Christian faith believe that Jesus is not really dead, but that he must let the world think that he is dead until he can find a way to control the raging spirit that dwells within him. Da, 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 da. I know we're not gonna do this, but at this point, I almost think we should just cut him up and flush him down the toilet. Until you bring the gumbles back, I am going on a hunger strike. Eh? Huh? How about that, Callahan? Can you live with that on your conscience, huh? You gonna eat that stapler? Well, you, you, you can't eat a stapler. Wanna split it? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join these two in holy matrimony. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Quiet down, you had your chance. All right, virtual reality. Whoa, you guys gotta try this. Hey, look at me. I'm a pole in a strip club. Oh! It's showtime. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, no! Oh, oh! Hey, stop! False alarm! Ah, ah. Oh, my God! I'm, I'm flying! I'm flying! Yes, I have a diet Sprite. Chris, did you put a coonskin cap on Stewie? No. Why? <laughs> they look like little robbers. The annual Quahog Star Trek convention, where once a year, sci-fi buffs take their lips off the barrel of a loaded gun and spend half a day adjusting their eyes to sunlight. They, they think you're some kind of healer. I'll handle it, Lois. I read a book about this sort of thing once. Are you sure it was a book? Are you sure it wasn't nothing? Oh, yeah. Nobody here's Jewish, right? Uh, gee, I don't know. Are you Jewish, Gordon? Gee, I don't know, Jeremy. Are you? God, I had no idea. I'm, I'm sorry. I... Hey, Brian, we're both Italian. <laughs> You're in. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Italians are not just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm lost in your eyes. Stewie, 
What the hell was that? That was uh, Lost in Your Eyes by Debbie Gibson. One of the worst I've ever heard. Okay. Stewie, you shouldn't actually even be alive, you snivelling little creep. I hate you so much, I want to shoot you in your face. Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Don't make us go good cop, developmentally disabled cop on you. Um, we know that, um, you, um, killed Lois. Um, hi. Uh, no. You're amazing, Glenn! Oh, I just take a lot of pride in what I do. Hey, what's going on here? Ah, get off my wife! Oh my god, oh my god! <gasps> you shot my homie! I'm calling the police! I can remember, Mom and Dad are dead. Oh no, who will pay for my saxophone lessons? Come on, Stewie, up in your high chair. Boy, he must be starving. <laughs> yep, he's really chowing down. Hey, how's the food, Stewie? Oi, blimey, it's a right delicious I do declare. Waka waka. Come on. Do math. Thank heaven, the Von Trapp family escaped. Reverend Mother, I have sinned. What is this sin, my child? Oh well, no harm done. I too have sinned, Mother. Oh my god! That's Rolf! What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I didn't start this war, but it's on. Oh, oh look, Lois, wishbone. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yes! I got five seconds. No gravity. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! Don't worry, Lois, we'll hide in the one place they can't find us. In Imagination Land, where you burp where you fart, and you fart where you burp. <laughs> Maybe we should take him to the hospital. I think the maggots have evolved to the point that they've developed space travel. Huh, that's odd. I thought that would be big news. You thought what would be big news? Well, there seems to be an absence of a certain ornithological piece. A headline regarding mass awareness of a certain avian variety. What are you talking about? Oh, have you not heard? It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! Oh, well, a bird, bird, bird. The bird, the word, oh, well, a bird, bird, bird. The bird, the word. Sheesh, Lois, look at the garbage those damn leafers dumped on our lawn. New York Post, New York Magazine, the New York Mets. There's the Washington Monument. There's the Obama Monument. I was about to bone my girlfriend out at the lake, but suddenly she yelled, so I looked up and it was Bigfoot. So what happened next? Then I went back to bone her, but the mosquitoes were going crazy and she said there was no way. Brent? No, no, don't put Brent. Oh. Put Rock Kickass. I don't know how to change it. I already typed it in. For mine, put Dirk Diggler. I'm not going to put everyone as a fake name. How do you want to do the teams? How about the white guys against the black guys? Patrick, don't be an instigator. I have to pee. Brent, take Michael to the bathroom, please. Okay. Look at me. I've got girl boobs. At least I've got something on the air. I mean, not everyone can say that. <coughs> we now return to Big Jaws. Ah, stop eating our boat, Jaws. Rawr, I'm gonna eat your boat, and then I'm gonna eat you guys. Rawr. Oh my god, what's that? It's bigger, Jaws. Oh my god, now we have a common enemy. We have to work together. I already got a sequel in mind. It's called Way Bigger Jaws. You're under arrest. Oh, come on. Move it! And one of you guys all right to drive? Um, yeah, I can do it. Okay, and one, and two, and three. <laughs> Yeah! I'm also addicted to boobies! <laughs> ah, 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 what the... Ah, take it off! Take it off! Is this your card? I don't know. Was it a red card? I don't know what red is. 
Ta-da! Prep done, Shex. Oh, crap. We gotta disappear, and quick. Maybe we should have jumped on that truck. For my science homework, I had to make a shoebox diarrhea of the evolution of man. You mean diorama. Uh-oh. Nancy, give me a beer. Uh, Mormons aren't allowed to drink alcohol. Peter, did you just throw those women away? No. Maybe. My therapist thinks he's figured out what my problem is. Oh, yeah? What does Sigmund Freud think it is? He, uh, thinks I'm in love. Oh, my God! You can talk! Never mind. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. Like a dairy cow. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! I feel like I'm dreaming. Wait, maybe I am dreaming. That means I can do whatever I want without consequences. What are you doing? I just adopted 30 puppies. <laughs> well, look, Brian, as your friend, I, I should tell you that that vagina is ground zero, man. I mean, I, I just, I wrecked that thing on the way out. And, and just to be a jerk, I carved Brooks was here in the wall. Did, did you see that? Did you see Brooks was here? We didn't have sex. Of course, what with Chris going before me, I pretty much just walked out of there. Didn't even have to stoop over. There was even room to twirl a cane as I strolled. You're exaggerating. Only a little bit. That's the messed up thing. I walked into the kitchen and sat down at the table. I looked with a grimace at the questionable meal Lois had placed in front of me. Of course, I'd never tell her how disgusted I was with her cooking, but somehow I think she knew. Lois had always been full of energy and life, but lately I had begun to grow more aware of her aging. The bright, exuberant eyes that I had fallen in love with were now beginning to grow dull and listless with the long fatigue of a weary life. I awoke several hours later in a daze. Sick! Yeah! Undefeated! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here, here comes another one. Quick, give me your lighter. I don't want to bring a new baby into the world with him running around. Okay, first of all, Bonnie, you've been pregnant for like six years, all right? Either have the baby or don't. The pathway to enlightenment starts with an unfettered, focused mind. Look out! Ah! What are you doing? Oh. oh, I thought that dot on your head was from a sniper rifle. Peter! This spot is a sacred adornment. It's a portal, an opening through which all light, goodness, rejuvenation, joy, and ecstasy may enter the human form. A vagina? Get out. A dog says... <coughs> a cow says... <coughs> ah, of course, of course. Over millions of years, evolution took its course. Of course, I'm obligated by the state of Kansas to present the church's alternative to the theory of evolution. I respect women when I'm on a date. I take them to the park or maybe a museum, and I only try to kiss them if they're ready. Woohoo! What, 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 what? Help out your mom and dad by getting a job so you can help pay for school supplies. Woohoo! Say ho! Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! Hey, let her go! Or what? Or. Or. I don't know, man, but you're. You're lucky you're not doing that over here in the ocean, or else, or, or I would stop you. For God's sakes, help! Do something! 
Ah, if you don't like starfish, you're gonna be mad about what I just did. Oh, God, help! Ah, you're in for it now, buddy. I got, like, five fish coming to help. Oh, oh, here they are. Help! He's hurting me! Well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. New York has some of the best restaurants in the world. They even have Indian food here. Not the local kind, but the mm-mm kind. I'm back from space, everybody. You got lucky, Peter. How was it, Dad? Oh, mind-boggling, Chris. Barreling around the Earth at five miles per second, watching the sun rise over the Sea of Japan, it's indescribable. Plus, I had lots of time to masturbate, which in space is great, except after a while, it's like living in a snow globe. It sort of turns out that I'm technically mentally retarded. And, um, you know, I just wanted to ask, you know, how, how do you deal with it? Deal with what? You, you know, with, with being retarded. Peter, I'm not retarded. I'm handicapped. Oh, well, now you're just splitting hairs. Hey, Peter, what's up? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Just taking the family on vacation. Oh, that's good. Oh, hang on a second. I'm stuck behind some fat ass driving too slow. Come on, stupid, move it! Now, hang on, Quagmire. Some jerk behind me is honking his horn. Oh, you should totally flip him off. Oh, hang on a sec. Some fat ass just flipped me off. Hey, up yours, you jerk! Hang on, Quagmire. I gotta kick this guy's ass. Yeah, I gotta kick this guy's ass. Hey, I'll call you back after the fight. Yeah, me too. Good luck in yours. Good luck in yours. This has got to be some kind of prank. You know, like that prank I pulled on Ashton Kutcher. Ashton, come here. Eh, you've just been tomahawked. This must be the McBurger Town Slaughterhouse. Sir, you are correct. But in here we call it Dachau. Dachau? Dachau. Except we spell the cow part C-O-W, like cow. So it's kind of, uh... Uh, sort of a dark joke. Yeah, yeah, it's a Holocaust joke. That's that's really funny. So where were we? Right about here. Ah, oh, come on, baby. It's my birthday. No. <laughs> Sorry, retarded. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> Don't know any better. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Jeez, didn't you hear me a second ago? I'm retarded. Oh, you're just curious. Well, let me show you how everything works down there. This one checks her heart rate, this one checks her veins, and this dispenses gravy for her mashed potato brains. Oh, 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 Terry Shivo is kind of a lifo. What a lively little bugger. Maybe we should just unplug her. Terry Shivo is kind of a lifo, the most expensive plant you'll ever see. Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. So far, the only station that comes in is some British guys reading news from places I'm not sure exist. Today, in Kazakhstan, a peaceful demonstration turned to bloodshed as members of the Tuzili tribe flooded Kenpao Square in remembrance of the third anniversary of the Holmesburg Massacre. But finally, some good news out of neighbouring Kanduzi, as locals there have reached an uneasy alliance with the bordering Trolika Bubsy Wubsy Dal. Hey Jesus, can you do something for me? Sure, Peter. What is it? <laughs> and now with sports, here's Frampel Tromwibbler. From the world of sport, the Coynton Spinky Wompers flumped the flowing boing Welfenklompers 70 fluff to 40 flabe. At the tone, the time will be 26 Railroad. I'm not sure about any of that. You know, Dad, I saw that movie White Noise, and they said you can use empty radio static to talk to dead people. You idiot, ghosts don't exist. Wait a second, they might. Let's get you home. Wow, strange lady, you're so sexy. I should marry you tomorrow instead of that pain in the ass, Lois. Peter, it's me. You know what? Screw it. I am so gonna cheat on Lois right now. I don't care if she finds you out. Peter. You got a condom? Yeah, never mind. I got this Milky Way wrapper. Help! It's so sucky and squeezy. I'll handle this. I've tangled with the likes of these before. Wow, that was awesome, Mr. Seamus. Ah, it was nothing. That's how I caught old Woody over there. Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. Here I am! We're playing Magic the Gathering. Wanna join? Osama! Don't go breaking my head! I couldn't if I tried. Oh, hi! 
me if I get fresh lace. Baby, you're not that. <laughs> What's the matter, Glenn? Uh, nothing. Oh, Stacy, you dropped your pom-pom in the water. I'll get it for you. I'll come with you. Me too. But wait a minute. We don't want to get our sweaters all wet. Better take them off. Splash fight! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, I'll pay you a dollar a day to smell my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I peed and pooped. Griffin, I never noticed you before. I like what I see. Uh, okay. Oh, no. I dropped my pencil. Oh, I'll get it for you. Yeah, this is gonna work out just fine. Excuse me. Bless us, O Lord, for these gifts we are about to receive. Help us to be mindful of all our blessings and... I hope I'm allowed to do this. My mommy says don't run with scissors. <laughs> She's so cute, I love children. Look at my kids. So everyone feel free to browse and purchase from our fine selection. Hey mom, now would be a good time to raise my allowance. <laughs> My back is hurting from the chair I'm sitting on. Where's the Tylenol? If I lay down flat on the floor, it usually kind of fixes it. Tony Danza from Who's the Boss says, a o a o o a o a o You know, I never told you guys this, but my police captain is a woman. One day she wheeled me into her office and then made me have sex with her. It was awful. Oh my god, that must have scarred you for life. No, I was into it. It was just awful sex. It was like trying to get a deflated balloon into a, uh, well, I guess a normal vagina. It was pretty bad. I just kind of feel like kicking it tonight. Oh, look at that. I'm growing all the time. Hey, uh, Jillian, can you give me a minute? You ever just let your balls hang out, b right? You ever do that, b Roni? Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bri. Give me my hair back. Ow! Oh, I wish that scary looking clown at the end of my bed would go away. Wow. So how do you do it? Oh, you're very nice to ask. Well, first I hang the old worm out there. They, they usually go for it. So I jerk them around a little, they fight for a while, and, and then they just lay back and accept it. Pardon me, sir. We're trying to locate a possessed child. Have you seen anyone who looks like this? Yeah, that's my son. He's actually in the Minimart right now. He'll be out in a second. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, no, no. Never seen him before. Hmm. What was that first thing you said? Oh, I was just saying that baby in the picture is my son. He's traveling with us. He's part of our family. We're trying to avoid being found by police like you. Uh, uh, I mean, I was just remarking what a nice tie you have on. I love this tie. All right, you folks take care now. Well, we should probably get home. This area gets really dangerous at night. I used to lure wayward sailors to their deaths with my siren song. <laughs> Peter, are you gay? Guilty! If you refuse to go peaceably, I'm afraid we'll have to use our superior linguistic skills to convince you to leave. Oh, yeah, just try it. Bye, Bye now. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. God, I, I never saw it that way before. You know, they say Chuck Norris is so tough, there's no chin under his beard. There is only another fist. That's ridiculous. Chuck Norris? You are getting a little old to have a teddy bear. Brian, I'm one. Still? What? Um, Peter, you want to go see Disney on ice?
Oh, God, yes! I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put on my Donald Duck costume. Ready? If you squeeze me, I make bad people go away. But wait a minute. I thought guns were bad. False. Guns are good. In fact, did you know that Jesus and Moses used guns to conquer the Romans? Oh, no, I dropped my glasses. Uh, by the way, uh, Pinocchio, uh, there was a cookie missing from the jar. Did you, uh, did you take it by any chance? Yes, Papa Gibetto. I'm sorry. Are you sure you took it? Because, uh, I'd believe you if you said you didn't. No, I took it, Papa. I wouldn't lie to you. You could try. Who knows, you might get away with it. Take to the highway, won't you lend me your name? Who you... sings that song? James Taylor. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Women, Brian. What a royal pain in the ass. It's like, it's like, why can't you just hang out with guys, you know? Just live with someone of your own sex. Just do what you would do with women, but with your buddy, you know? Why, why don't guys just do that? They do. It's called being gay. Oh, that's what gay is? Oh, yeah, I could totally get into that. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me. <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. Ever read the Bible? Leviticus 18.22. Stewie, you're judgmentally quoting Bible verses and you don't even know how to read. Welcome to America, Brian. I have 125, do I hear 130? 130,000 for this authentic Comanche headdress. I got 130, I got 130. Do I hear 135, 140, do I hear 140? Hey, 135 going once. Ooh, Hustler magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks. Ah, ah, oh, God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Ah! Chris, you're the man of the house now. Take the lessons I've taught you and be the best leader of this household you can. I will, Dad. <laughs> Fellow, I sure do love being gay. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're gonna beat him up for it. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> oh. All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No, no, don't use them like that either. All right, look, just put them down and use your fists. No, 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 not like that. I haven't been this disappointed since I lost my virginity. Uh-oh. You want to get some breakfast or something? In sadder news, the man who held the Guinness World Record for most drugs ever done by a single human being died today. He was attacked by a pack of wild dogs he thought he saw. I mean, what kind of lazy, narcissistic, irresponsible moron would even consider doing something as unbelievably foolish as getting liposuction? Who, I ask you? Who? Hello? That'll be five dollars. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Oh, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. That son of a bitch. Do I... do, do I have to? You want to be a star, don't you? Then take it off! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Sounds like a job for the A-team. <laughs> Hi, Dad! Go to your room. Okay! I'll distract Lois while you steal money from her purse. Lois, look at me! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Caca! I've got her wallet! Caca! Daddy, what are you doing? Look at the unicycle! Well, she's got ten dollars in here, and it cost me nine hundred dollars for the six weeks of unicycle lessons. So we're a little in the red right now. I was wondering if I could put a little saddle on your back and ride you like a horsey. Oh, okay, okay. No, I, no, I, I understand. It's too much. It's okay. You know, I like Hillary Clinton. I don't care what anyone says. Ah, Peter, what's? Yeah, ah, yeah. The, uh, come on, old Bones in your ass. Come on, Ow. yeah. Ow. Oh, come on, yeah. come on, come on. That is some tasty stuff. That's from the uh, bake sale that Lois would. Yeah! Ooh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any. Welcome. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. Fifty bucks. She had nine STDs. Forty-five bucks. And when we caught her, she wet herself. Fifty bucks. Gosh, gosh, bagosh! It's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Ooh, we got a fighter.
Please rise. Now sit on it. The Fonz be with you. And also with you. Let us A. A. You're Mel Gibson? Yes, I've put on a few pounds for my next role. I play Peter Griffin, a heroic warrior who defied the English to free England from the English. Holy mackerel! Let me show you to your room, Mr. Gibson. Peter, watch the road. Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> Hey, Crashy. What are you doing down there? I don't trust you. You put your seed in my daughter's belly. You're fired. But, Pa, you can't fire me. You're lucky you're my brother, too, or I'd kill you. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. A wall! I'm starting to feel funny. Well, I feel fine. I guess I'm going to be... <laughs> oh, boy! That means I win! I get to eat... <gasps> Chris Tucker and Jim Caviezel? Is that it? The guy from the first one? Passion of the Christ 2. Crucify this. You know how to use one of these? You know how to use one of these? This July, let he who is without sin kick the first ass. Here comes the next float, honoring uninjured veterans. Yeah! We rock! Our wives stayed with us! Think fast! We did! Yeah! Peter, did you paste a new picture of yourself on our wedding portrait? Yeah, I think it looks better. You pasted it over me. Yeah, I think it looks better. You know what really grinds my gears? This Lindsay Lohan. Eh? Lindsay Lohan with all those little outfits, jumping around there on stage, half naked with, with your little outfits, you know? You're, uh, you're up there jumping around, and I'm just sitting here with my beer. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? Meg, stop staring at Mr. Griffin. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. What can I say? I'm a vegetarian. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all gone. I think <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. Man. <laughs> Peter, Peter, I need you to hold my ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put on a pair of gloves and we'll deliver this baby. Well, these don't feel like gloves at all. They feel like used needles. But this is where I always keep the gloves. Well, maybe if I dig deeper. Nope, just feels like more needles. Well, that's the craziest thing. Oh, now I'm sure this isn't the glove drawer. Hey, Rick, it's your cousin Marvin. Marvin Astley? You know that mediocre generic sound you've been looking for? Well, listen to this. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Hola. Uh, me, me amo es Brian. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, nosotros queremos ir con ustedes. Yeah, that was pretty good. But actually, when you said me amo es Brian, you don't need the ace. Just me amo Brian. Oh, you speak English? No, just that first speech and this one explaining it. You... you're kidding, right? Okay. 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> must have been a woman pilot, eh? Oh, that was great. Thanks. I know you have a choice in airport sex, and I appreciate your choosing Quagmire. Please exercise caution when standing up, as the contents of your vagina may have shifted during coitus. You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any- How do these jeans look? <laughs> Mr. President, did you reach a missile pact? Well, you could say that. There was a missile, and something definitely got packed. <laughs> <laughs> did you discuss ICBMs? Well, I did see a BM. <laughs> <laughs> So, would you consider this a uh, successful summit? Oh, yes. I summited three times. Are you finished with the butt-fucking puns? When you say USA, 
I just say hooray. And if you're not from here, God's gonna hunt you down and give you AIDS USA. My daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. Uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money? Oh, I, you know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. Oh, well, all right then. Mm, that's good, OJ. <laughs> Channel 5 News has discovered that there is an atheist among us. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Uh, shocking, to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god. Even if it's a smelly brown god. I'm... I'm not really a man. I'm a woman. Oh my god, you're a woman? Well, actually, I'm not really a woman. I'm a horse. Oh my god, you're a horse? Actually, I'm not really a horse. I'm a broom. Say, which gate is flight 209? 209? That flight left half an hour ago. Oh my god. Oh my god! That plane's going down! My friends are on that plane! They're all gonna die! What? Oh no! And that's not the worst part. Here's the condom I said I put on. <gasps> <laughs> Aren't I just the worst? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants chowder? <laughs> Is there any way you guys could take Anna Lee? No, Quagmire. We got enough kids of our own. Plus old Brian over there. Right, buddy? I sharpened a pencil in my bum and now I need a band-aid. We have to destroy everything that's harmful to God. Well, I'm glad you married my daughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, actually, it wasn't me. It was... No, no, it, it's okay. I'm used to it. You know, sometimes you just gotta make a decision and go with it. Like when I decided to try that radical penis enlargement. Peter, I don't think... Ryan, your objections are duly noted. Now hit the gas! You know that would never work again in a million years. Don't need it to, Brian. I'm afraid your parrot is dead. No! Did he at least die with dignity? Well, he convulsed a lot and fell off the operating table. Then he flopped around a little on the floor, and then a passing nurse accidentally stepped on him and kicked him into a puddle of urine, which must have frightened him because his bowels released all over himself. I tried to pick him up, but then I got angry because some of it got on my thumb. So I threw him against the wall, and that's where he died. That's the way I want to go. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm no different than any other guy. Joe, would you put on your hand shoes and take out the garbage? Thank you. <laughs> Put my gun down. Not until I have my husband back. Ah, my perfect ass! Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I was aiming for your spine. Ah, damn it! Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible shot. Ah, for God's sakes, just give me the gun! I'll do it myself! Why haven't you sent for help? But she said she never wants to see me again. Well, I'm sure you can come up with some excuse to see her at the vet. Is there any more coffee? Anna? I'm here with my dog. He's not feeling well. Fuck you. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. How much you pay for that fake mustache? Two ninety nine. Ah! Oh! 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 Listen, you just gotta give me more time. Ah! Hey, looking for a good time, sweet cheeks? Oh my God! Peter, get in the car. Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland steamer? It means that he'll. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Be cool. Be cool. Yeah, so go to Maple Street and then take a left and then uh, you go. Uh... Okay, so you want a party or what? Get in this car right now! It's eerie, isn't it? Like looking into the future. Brian, pick up. Over. What? Brian, please say over when you finish talking. Over. What? Over. Do you see the wire yet? Over. No. No what? Over. No, over. Okay, I'm gonna start feeding it through. Over. Wait, if you haven't started feeding it, why'd you ask me if I could see it? 
didn't copy that, over. I said, why'd you ask me if I could see it if you haven't started feeding it? Over. Oh, that's better. I can hear you now. Over. When did you guys get a pool? Oh, it's a moat. <laughs> I know it's silly, but my husband thinks our family needs extra protection now that we're, well, we're rich. Does it work? Well, it does keep the Black Knight at bay. So anyway, here's Quagmire walking through the park, minding his own business. Uh, I just happen to be there with my video camera when a ninja shows up! And then a Nazi came! And then a evil pots and pans robot! Destroy! Destroy! Do you see it yet, Over? You know, you're a jackass. For the record, I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what, Brian? Over. I said I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what? You gotta finish your sentence. Over. That's it. My sentence is over. Your sentence is what, Brian? Over. My sentence is... Wait a minute. I have to say over even if the sentence ends with the word over? Ends with the word what, Brian? Over. Oh, I see the wire. You see the wire what? Over. Over! <laughs> oh, no! Quagmire's dead! Wait, we might still be able to save it. Oh no! Dun 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 We are so so sorry for your loss. Still no sign of the deaf team, I notice. Hey, you guys are gonna be late. Maybe they're not in there. All right, boys, now watch how this is done. The key is to put it all in your groin and your back. Take your legs totally out of the equation. Lift with your lower back in a jerking, twisting motion. Wow, Lois Griffin. Hey, I love your act. Nice melons. Hey, listen, pal. Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh, and her hooters ain't bad either. Now, hang on a second there. Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your wife's hot. All right, that's it. Oh, boy, I usually only get this excited when they say the title of a movie in the movie. I'm telling you, these drug dealers represent a clear and present danger to the United States. Eh, eh, he said it, he said it. All I'm saying is, what if this is as good as it gets? Eh, eh, there it is, there it is. The only way for me to solve this crisis is to be Superman 4, the quest for peace. Oh, that's why they call it that. Stop making that fart sound every time someone says Meg. So, how was your day exploiting the town's resources, Meg? <laughs> Meg! Meg! <laughs> Meg! 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 Can I get some covers over here? No, no. You fat keep you warm. No, no. Oh, my God! All right, let's go to the bank. You can't give up sex. You've got a responsibility. You see, Meg, you're what they call a practice girl. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find assault rifles? Aisle six. How about a list of known local homosexuals? Aisle four. Come on, hop in my limo. Wow, a limo! Shotgun! Oh, crap, the LAPD. Come on, Pete, I want to save some tape for the Hollywood sign. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, our pleasure. Have a nice vacation, sir. Shaving time! All right, hand me the razor. Oh, my God! Peter, you killed it! Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven more lives. Six. Five. Four. Three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. Look alive, ladies! Allow me to introduce the best of the best, the Black Knight himself! And this is his trophy winch, made Madeline! Ding. Ah, my boy wants to know about sex. Came to the right place. Chris, what you always want to remember is that sex is perfectly natural. Well, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Swanson. Um, I wasn't really talking to you. Chris, I know a lot about sex. Yeah, and I'm sure you have fond memories, but I was kind of hoping to get some advice from someone who isn't broken from the waist down. I'm a father! You're a two-wheeled monster! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dylan! All this stuff in here is mine now. Oh. Well, okay, but be careful opening the closet, because that's where the evil monkey lives. Yay! 
I haven't been in my closet for years. Boy, there is a lot of feces in here. Hey, Chris, guess what we just did, Bonnie? Tell him. We had sex. We had sex! We had what Joe calls sex. I'm abstinent, Lois. It's all in these pamphlets Meg brought home from school. Sex turns straight people gay and turns gays into Mexicans. Everyone goes down a notch. <laughs> They're gonna love that. Well, you think you'll look for another job, Meg? <laughs> Meg! 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 Uh-oh. It was my job to keep the children from eating each other. Hey, hey, no, 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 spit him out. Jeffrey, spit him out now. And Mike, you spit out Timmy. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. Brian, welcome home, you son of a bitch. So did you lose? Oh, you gotta tell me all about it. Hey, how was a bachelorette? Was she a dumb bimbo, like you said? But, 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 with a big rack? <laughs> Come on in and tell me everything. I bet your stories will make me laugh so hard I shoot milk out of my nose. Uh, Peter, this is Brooke, the bachelorette. She's, uh, having dinner with us tonight. I went over this with you a few minutes ago. <laughs> Vaginal intercourse is... It's just tops. It's the bee's knees, Meg. Oh, when you rattle it around just right. Oh, my God. I mean, you remember when we had that old car with the bad shocks and I used to take the old dirt road on purpose? Meg. Meg? I love you. My wife messed around with another chick. Thank you, God. Don't mention it, Peter. God, he knows what turns you on. Have fun. Oh, that's a bad mud puddle. I wouldn't want you to step in that and get your nice shoes all ruined. Joe's getting desperate, and we haven't raised nearly enough. Is there any way you could help us out? Of course I could. But it's funnier to me if I don't. In about an hour, I'm gonna piss away 20 grand. What, are you gonna bet on the Knicks? <laughs> Is it? I'm sorry. I mean, how often? I mean, oh man, nobody thinks that's funny? Ooh, there's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's gonna get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding. You suck. No, just kidding. You suck. Queer. Queer? Ah, huh. well, there goes my smile. My God! He's violating sea breeze. Oh no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating sea breeze. Man, what do you think these things do? <laughs> huh? Guess it doesn't do anything. Well, that seems odd. Ah! Oh my God, Peter! You me! Holy crap! Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. Look at all my dew. I'm covered in dew. Feather, you're covered in dew. Oh, you spoiled the surprise. I'm making you a cock out of dew. Doesn't matter how you find the pot of gold, be to the Ryan. All that matters is that you beat the leprechauns. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to make sense when you look like this. Ugh, I am hotter than phone sex with a blind girl. You sound hot. What are you wearing? I don't know. What can you tell me about this one? Oh, that's just an old tank I use for those commercials where I declare war on high prices. Now, about that sedan. Yeah, 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 hang on there, Slick. Now I see your game. We come in here wanting a practical car, but then you dangle this tank in front of me and expect me to walk away. Now, I may be an idiot, but there is one thing I am not, sir, and that, sir, is an idiot. You know, Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. Over 200 reports of ear sex have been confirmed so far, prompting a new slogan. Once you go black, you go deaf. Let's have a baby someday. Oh, Meg, we've talked about this. In order to make a baby, a man has to be aroused enough to ejaculate. Sorry, Dad, I forgot. That's all right, sweetie. Now you run along and play in the mud. 
Up, the toast is ready. I'll get it, Lois. There you go. Uh, Peter, maybe you shouldn't bring your lance to the table. Lois, if I'm gonna get good enough to impress the Black Knight, my lance must be with me at all times. Oh, you guys are gonna be so proud when you see me out on that field. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go practice. <laughs> So, James, we just want you to do the voice. Henceforth, sexual intercourse is illegal. It is gross and disgusting and punishable by death. Origami keeps my hands busy and my mind off sex. There we go. I made a swan. Stewie's a good leader. I wonder how many of these swans I can fit in my bum. That's a beautiful shade of lipstick. I bet you enjoy the music of men at work. You're incredibly foxy. Take off your shirt, take off your pants. Wow, what a body. That feels good. I'll give you a call. You better get tested. It's just been revoked. Uh, Peter, he didn't really set you up for that lethal weapon line. It, it doesn't really work here. Oh. I'll have what she's having. That's... better? Peter, what the hell is that? Lois, I'm tired of Mort always mooching off us, so I made a scared you. Peter, we're not gonna have this in our front yard. It's racist, and for God's sake, you ruined your best suit. Now we're gonna have to get you a new one. Shh, shh, Lois, Lois, look. Hey, guys, I just wanted to return you. Oh! Oh, my God, it's Hitler! He's back! He's back! Hurry, protect John Stewart! He's our most important Jew! It just feels like I'm lying to Peter. Like Jesus lied to the meek. All right! Jesus and the jocks win again! Hey, you said we were gonna inherit the Earth. Yeah, when we're done with it. I want to thank you all for coming out here today. We got a serious situation down in the Bronx. Our friend needs to get a message to the short man in the hat. He needs to deliver this message before the construction site contracts are handed down. It's of vital importance that these matters be attended to. So we may have to bring in our friend from Yonkers. What? I say we may have to bring in our friend from Yonkers. <laughs> what are you doing? What the, what the hell? What are you doing, Peter? What the hell is wrong with you? This is all I can do, Lois. I'm abstinent. That is it. I am going to have regular sex with you whether you like it or not. No. I wasn't asking your permission. No, 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 I'm abstinent. This is an affront to the Lord. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I see what you're driving at. Mayor West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Peter, you can't be serious. This is a 30-ton war machine. I'm still not sure. Did I mention the tank is a tank? Sold. Rickety staircases, faulty wiring, gay poltergeists. Boo! To that outfit! So, uh, Lando, how old did you say you were again? Seventeen. A, a half. <gasps> Sweet statutory, you look beautiful. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you, kid. I got a daughter of my own, you know. Knock it off because I have had it. No, I've had it. I don't want you pregnant. You'll be fat and cranky and your boobs will get bigger and you'll stop having your period. Wait, how do I feel about this? I am gonna prepare for this as thoroughly as Ben Affleck prepares for a role. Whoa, I gotta be Henry VIII in 20 minutes. Hello, 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 hello. Got it. Ugh, oh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! Hey, Meg. Oh, hi, Craig. Now that you're attractive, how about we go out sometime? Gosh, I'd love to. Great. I'll pick you up whenever I feel like it. Hey, Meg. We noticed Craig Hoffman just asked you out. That makes you cool. Want to hang out with us? Wow, sure. Hey, I'm here to pick you up. 